So this is going to be a short video to help you get ready for the uh, integers test. Now the test is about integers, so first of all what is an integer? Well an integer is a counting number. So these are whole numbers, uh, they could be positive or negative but can also include zero. So I'm going to put it in includes zero. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are all integers. Now a couple of words we need to know. First of all, ascending. Now ascending means going upwards. So if I was to put some numbers in ascending order, uh, if we start at negative 5 and negative 3, so we're going upwards, uh, number 1, number 8. These numbers are all in ascending order. If we wanted to put them in descending order, that's going from uh, largest to smallest, or from a higher number down to a lower number, I would just reverse that. So these, those numbers are descending. Now, there's two different types of questions we're going to get. We're either going to get adding and subtracting, or we're going to get multiplying or dividing. So let's look at the adding and subtracting ones first. So if we ever get a question where we need to add and subtract, we're going to use a number line. So what can the number line do? Well, the number line, if we go in the left direction, we're taking away or minusing. And if we go to the right, we're adding. So for example, if we had a question along the lines of negative 6 take away negative 3, so the negative 6 is the starting point, so we start at negative 6. The next uh, operation is to subtract, so we need to go towards the left. What are we subtracting? We're subtracting negative 3, so we now to need to do backward steps by 3. So rather than going down to the left, we've actually got to do a backward step by 3. 1, 2, 3, so we end up at negative 3. So if you ever see adding and subtracting as part of the question, use the number line. If we're multiplying or dividing, the trick there is to just work out the answer, ignoring all the positives and negatives. And if there's an odd number of negatives, then the answer is going to be negative. So if odd number of negatives then the answer is negative and I'll give you an example so if we've got negative 2 times 3 times neg 2 so let's multiply them all together so 2 times 3 gives me 6 times another 2 gives me 12 now we know a negative times a negative gives me a positive, so those pair cancel each other out. So we've got an even number of negatives, so they cancel each other out, so the answer is going to be positive. So it's going to be positive 12, we don't have to put the positive there, but let's for this one. So if they were all negative in this example, the result's going to be 12 but we've got one, two, three negative answers. That's odd, so the answer is going to be negative. Now we need to know what these two symbols are. So this first one is less than, and this one here is greater than. Now, a way to do them, if we had two numbers, for example, negative eight and one, the way I like to do it is say, well, which number is the largest? Now the one's the largest, because it's further to the right on the uh, number line. So that gets two dots. The negative one is smaller. No, sorry, the negative eight is smaller, so then it gets one dot. And then I just join these together. Okay, if I do another example, three and negative two, which is the larger of these two numbers, i.e. which is on the right of the number line, that's going to be the three. And the smaller one is the negative two. So if I join those together, I get a greater than sign. Finally, 
thing we need to remember are the synonyms for these words, uh, for these symbols. So the first one there, you might find uh, a word such as add, addition, sum, above, profit or gained. They're all words that mean the same as uh, the plus. Subtract or take away, minus, we've got loss, lost, withdraw, below, uh, they're all synonyms for the subtract or minus. So we've got times, synonyms, multiply, lots of, and then the divided by, uh, division or over. So a little trick with this one, if we see a half, that means the same as 1 divided by 2. So that line there is also something that could mean divide. Uh, good luck with your preparation.